Rich Berntovich at C2E2. Subscribe to Raise Chaos. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel, and it is Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. And if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that Wednesday I bring out my new comic book covers. And, uh, of course, what's the most fitting uh, comic book cover that I could do for this month, or this year? Um, but uh, the all-new Wolverine number one. Because they haven't done enough Wolverine covers. <laughs> uh, this one is a little bit different because this is uh, Lauren Lauren Kinney, I believe her name is. Um, she is she is formerly known as X twenty three. Um, she is one of the clones of Wolverine, and uh, as she decided to. Uh, take up his mantle um after he had assured her that uh it's okay that you have these primal urges these urges to slice people up um and uh he said yeah he was like we were made to be weapons um and uh yeah kind of helping her on her way trying to you know curb her dark side like his has been curbed uh throughout his tenure with the x-men um, but yeah, this is a, this is a pretty beautiful cover. Um, I will say, uh, I am not, I have not read this. Um, uh, you, most of you know, I'm not the biggest Wolverine fan. Um, but, uh, it is cool that they've got a new character. I'm going to go ahead and put you away cause you're just freaking annoying, annoying right now. This is, uh, really, this is a really great looking cover. Um, for not being a Wolverine fan, that's really cool. Uh, a lot of people like to assume that she is Wolverine's daughter. Um, she is actually a female clone uh, made of his d DNA. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool that uh, she's... Technically, she's wearing a face mask of Wolverine. Like, it covers... It comes just over the face, uh, and it's not a full cowl like his is. And the other bit that I really appreciate that's actually not even on the cover is in the costume, um, you can see on the pop that uh, she has a claw coming out of her uh, of her foot. Uh, of She have, has claws coming out of her feet. It's one claw that comes out over the top of her foot, um, which is different from Wolverine, but... Uh, uh, one of the things that make her uh, more unique, uh, as she only has two claws coming out of her hands, um, uh, X-23, um, uh, yeah, it's like, people like to talk about Wolverine being Weapon X. Um, to be perfectly honest, that he's not technically Weapon X. Um, X is the sign of 10. Um in uh, Roman numerals. So he was project, he was weapon 10, basically. Um, she is X23, which mean like 10, and then dash the 23rd variant of the weapon, weapon 10 project, um, which, uh, you know, essentially taking a mutant uh, capable, uh, playing around with a mutant uh, ability and uh, making it different. So obviously the Weapon X characters are all going to be different because uh, they are essentially being uh, honed into what the, what the weapon that, that, that is wanted. Um, and, you know, distributing memories into them, you know, all that fun stuff that you're familiar with Wolverine. Um, really fun part, you actually get to see this little scratch on here. Um, little tag on the top here 
Um, I can't really get upset about this because it happened because of the way I stacked this when I first got it. I put it somewhere that was not stable, so the top looked ripped over a little bit. But considering I have to actually take them out, and that usually can, that usually uh, uh, causes some damage to the outside bit to take the uh, the uh, initial plastic off of this thing. It's one of those things where I'm just like, okay, well, I have ones in worse conditions that weren't my fault, so I will go ahead and uh, <laughs> I can't cause too much of a stink, but I did want to mention it because it could be noticeable in the video, so I wanted to point that out for anybody, but look, any looking. Um, but like I said, I haven't actually read uh, this, this story, um, not even really sure when it came out. Um, it is one of the variant co covers, which uh, they tend to like to do with Marvel. Um, well, as far as the covers go, um, you can look up this exact, exact issue and you're not necessarily going to see this cover, cover, but, uh, you'll see that it is one of the, uh, alternate covers that, uh, that they, that Marvel likes to still do. I and mean, they're kind of notorious for it. Even still, I don't even think DC does it as often as they used to. Um, but Marvel kind of started it and they keep pushing it. <laughs> as unnecessary as it is um but uh again this is one that i that uh i know uh is one of those rare ones where rays doesn't have like a lot to say about the about the issue itself um so yeah uh we're gonna uh, this goes along with the playlist as far as that rays keeps for all the uh comic book covers um they are still uh, my favorite uh, thing that uh, Funko does and uh, look forward to always looking forward to getting more of these things and uh, I prefer them when they're older because that gives me a lot more of the history to like delve into and uh, mine for stuff to talk about in these videos um, and uh, I know pretty much I know the concept behind X-23 um, or Laura Kinney, um, but it's not a character that I, I don't even think I've read a single story of hers, um, but being tied so close to Wolverine, that's not terribly, uh, it's not a huge mystery as to why that happens. I tend to not lean into, uh, Wolverine stories that much, uh, but that's just me. I know plenty of people, uh, that absolutely love the character. And uh, as you can tell from my playlist, if you look, there have been a lot of Wolverine covers done on this channel because I do get them all. Um, and uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of here now. Um, uh, couldn't wait to do another F Funko comic cover because you absolutely know I love them. So I'm glad you got to join me on here. Check out the playlist to see if there are any others. Um, there's a good list of ones that, uh, have already come out and, uh, that playlist keeps getting added to because every time there's a new one, Ray's is just pacing until he gets one. This one literally just came out like, uh, uh, like last Friday, I think, like Thursday or Friday. So yeah, you know, Ray's got this one, like, bam, get it to me as soon as possible. Somebody keeps track of these things. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. And never forget that life is full of odd moments. And you never know when you're going to be, be, be defined. <laughs>